Hey guys, it's Otto from FX Dojo. I'm here to help you set up your Wacom tablet. All right, so um, here's here's the list of four things that we're gonna have to do. First, we're gonna download the Wacom driver. Two, we're gonna install it. Three, you have to actually give Wacom access to change your computer. Okay, so that's step three. And then finally, step four, we're gonna go into pen settings and we're gonna map the two buttons on your stylus pen to make it easier to do stuff in Krita and other drawing applications. All right, come over, let's check it out. All right, I'm in, I'm in a web browser here and just opening up a new tab, just gonna do a search for Wacom drivers and you're gonna get a list of things, but just go to the first, the first site that pops up and there's a lot to read at first. You can ignore everything. It, but if you scroll down, you'll see that it's very clear that there's two options. I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up for Mac. So I'll just download the Apple version. Confirm download. I already downloaded it earlier. Um, what I like to do is I like to show the downloaded item in a folder and then just double click it to launch it. All right, so now we're now we're on step two of the list, okay? We downloaded it, now we're on step two and we're gonna install it. Okay, check it out. All you have to do is just double click to install and just follow the prompts. Okay, I already, I already installed it, so I'm not gonna do that on my computer right now, but after you install it, you'll probably have to restart to get it to work. All right. After I installed it, now we're on step three. Okay, step three is to give access. You gotta let Wacom make changes to your computer. Okay, so it's it, there's a chain of com chain of hierarchy, and you gotta give enough permission. So this is how you do it. You gotta go up to your upper left hand corner to the Apple menu and open up system preferences. And there's a section that looks like a house. The icon looks like a house and it's called security and privacy. When you open up security and privacy, there's a sub, a sub menu on the left hand side and we're gonna visit the sub menu called accessibility because we're gonna be giving access. And I gotta click on this lock and type in my password to make changes and once I open up once I unlock my accessibility settings, I can give Wacom access. Okay, so I'm checking the box and then I hit the lock button again to lock everything. Okay guys, so step one, we downloaded, we installed, we gave access, and now it's time to change the pen settings, okay? So take a look here. Stylus pen has two buttons on it a bottom button and a top button. Okay, the top button by default is uh, like kind of like mimicking a right click, but the bottom button usually is set to scroll and we wanna change it to be like a middle click. All right, come on over here and you can see that I'm gonna launch this W. Okay, you can always do a spotlight search as well. Just type in, type in Wacom and you're opening Wacom Desktop Center. Just like a lot of typical menus, you're gonna have a sub menu on the left hand side. Okay, so I wanna highlight the tablet that I'm using which is called the uh, Intuos and I'm gonna activate the window for pen settings. Okay, once you get to pen settings, you see a little diagram and by default, that bottom button is set to the scroll wheel but we wanna switch it to make it mimic a middle click. Okay, done. I can just hit this red X and close out my pen settings, close out the Wacom desktop center. And let's say I'm in Krita. Okay, I'm gonna start a brand new layer here. And now you can start practicing. I'm gonna just draw a rainbow here. Bunch of different colors. Okay, I'm using that right mouse button. I'm using that I curl my finger up, I curl my finger up and I hit that top button. 
and I can access my color picker. Let's switch to green. See, I'm curling my finger up. Switch to blue. And then I can also use that bottom button and move my canvas around. Okay, so that's why it's good to have that bottom button map to middle click. And if I hold down command and use that bottom button, I can also zoom in and out. Okay, so without command, I'm dollying. While holding command, I can use that bottom button and zoom in and out. And then that top button is right click and I can use it to switch colors and a variety of other things that I'll show you in class. Okay, thanks a lot guys.